Hello, Common Sensors. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today, we're going to take a look at a news clip where police had to chase down and arrest a, an individual claiming to be a Moorish sovereign citizen. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy this short video. Uh, if you like my content, I'm Joe the Lawyer, Joe Pometto, Attorney at Law. This is the Common Sense Academy. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and share. That's a free way to support the show. It lets YouTube know that you're watching. YouTube gets to know that I'm doing well. They rank me higher. That incentivizes me to make more videos. Also, uh, sign up for my email list. You get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Now, before we watch this video, uh, you all know the same time sip I have here my 9-11 Memorial Cup um, amen to all the police officers firefighters everyone involved in emergency responders that day and everyone who tragically passed away on that day um, grab your glass your jug your canteen whatever it is you like to drink out of raise it up in the air cheers with me and let's do a same time sip Tastes better when we sip it together. Now let's watch this video. Multi-county chase in which two deputies were nearly run over. Told you yesterday about the arrest of Sammy Young. Fox 23's Jackie Del Pilar reporting live with how it all started, Jackie. Deputies say this started as a minor traffic stop because the suspect didn't have tag lights on his vehicle. But things soon escalated to a felony arrest. Blue and red lights crowding this East Tulsa intersection Wednesday morning. Deputies say this is where suspect Sammy Young crashed his car after he refused to stop for Rogers County deputies. Uh, in these things, they put everybody in danger. Sheriff Scott Walton says this started as a traffic stop in Gatusa. Halfway through the stop, Young accelerated his truck and took off as deputies were inside. Those two deputies were hit by the truck's door and a chase began. And, you know, a, you know, a boneheaded decision like this. This is what gets good guys and bad guys hurt. Tulsa police used their helicopter to help deputies track the truck, and officers threw down stop sticks to puncture his tires. At one point, the truck's tire fell off. The suspect got out of the truck near 21st and 108th and tried to run, but deputies caught up with him. He would have been charged with a misdemeanor and probably out right now. Uh, instead, he faces a stack of felony charges. Court papers say he told deputies he ran from them because he's a more sovereign citizen, so the law Law doesn't apply to him, but that defense didn't keep him out of jail. Those that you know claim that laws and rules don't apply to them, uh, we've only got one set of laws, and we apply those equally and fairly. And he's in our jail right now, where he belongs. Thankfully, no one was hurt in this chase, including the suspect. Reporting live, covering news that matters. I'm Jackie Del Pilar, Fox 23 News. All I can say, common censors is that this is a sad story, okay, of a man who over a couple of lights on the back of his vehicle uh, was going to get pulled over. He runs into two deputies, engages in a chase. They got to put road spikes down to stop his vehicle. The tire comes off the car. It's dangerous to him and everybody involved. Then he tries to flee on foot after the car chase. And when the police catch up to him, what's his defense? I'm a Moorish sovereign citizen and the lights don't apply to me. First of all, let's give him some credit. He had a real license plate. It looked like he had a real license plate. That wasn't the reason he was being pulled over. It was for having broken lights. Uh, if, if maybe, But he had the real, he didn't have a magic license plate. Um, what that uh, officer said was uh, entirely correct. This individual would only be facing a misdemeanor right now if he didn't run from the police. He just upped his charges by a ton, okay? Fleeing and eluding, escape, endangering the welfare, resisting arrest. I mean, it goes on and on. This guy, all right, because of what he did, he could have been paying a $200 ticket, all right, and, and, or maybe even getting it dismissed when he got the lights fixed. Because if you get the lights fixed and you go in, they'll sometimes dismiss it. $200 ticket. Uh, instead, he's going to probably go to jail for a couple of years. 
Um, and what led him to this insanity is his claim that he's a Moorish sovereign citizen and the laws don't apply to him. Uh, this just highlights the danger of these movements. I mean, this is out in Oklahoma. This stuff is all over the country. Uh, it's spreading because of the internet. Um, and what that officer said is is 100% correct. Uh, if he had just pulled over, he wouldn't be in jail tonight. But now um, he is in jail, uh, so he can't be out there not being a threat. He can't be out there continuing to be a threat to society. Um, so I'm going to continue to cover the sovereign citizen movement and other strange legal type news. Uh, if you'd like the Common Sense Academy, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Sign up for my email list. Get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Thank you very much for tuning in.